Hi everybody, this is Rob Windsor, and in this SharePoint Developer Quick Tip, I want to show you how to update multi-select choice and multi-select lookup columns using the JavaScript client object model and the JavaScript REST API. So here I have a very simple list. It has two columns. One is a choice column, a multi-select choice column, and one is a multi-select lookup column. The lookup column looks up to this list, which just has four items, lookup one through lookup four. And the choice column is choice one through choice four. So if I go to add a new item, you can see I can uh, put in the title, so we'll call it item five. I can pick any number of these guys. So let's go with uh, choice two and choice three. That's our select column or our choice column. And then here's our lookup. And we'll also go with lookup two and look up three and then click save. Now over here I have some Visual Studio projects. These are SharePoint listed apps which will read this list and show the items out of it and then add a single item into the list. So I have a client object model project. That's this project here. So um, there'll be two buttons on the project uh, or sorry on the, on the page that comes up uh, one will be the get, so we'll go to um, the host context because the list is in the host web, not in the app web. And then we'll get the list, it's called data list. We'll get all the items via camel query, and then we'll loop through those items, just show the title. And then down here I have the code to add a new item into the list. But currently, it's only setting the title column. It's not setting the choice or select column, and it's not setting the lookup column. And I have the exact same code over here on the rest side. So I have code to go to the data list in the host web and loop or get the items and then loop through the items and show them on the form. And then here to add the item, again, not setting anything but the title column. So if I run these, so I'll press F5 to run the REST version of the application, and I click Get, you can see it gets the five items that are currently in the list. And then click Add Item, that'll add a new item, and then click Get again, and you can see we have the five, five items that were there originally, plus the one that was added here from the REST API. And notice that the choice column and the lookup column are both empty. And then over here on the CSOM side, basically I have the same functionality. We can do the get, add, do the get again. There's the item added from CSOM. And then close this down, uh, close that down as well. And then come back to our host web, hit F5, and then we have the item here from CSOM. So let me go ahead and delete these for now. All right, so what we want to do is we want to add the code into the add item method to set the choice column and set um, the lookup column in both of these examples. So let's actually start up Fiddler and then start up the Seesaw program and run the get. And then come back over to Fiddler and then take a look at the JSON that gets returned from our service call. So in here we take a look for the choice column we see we get choice 1 and choice 4 um, so this is kind of looking like an array and then if we come down to the lookup column again it looks like we have an array but Instead of an array of values, an array of strings, like we did we had here, um, what we have is an array of lookup field value. And you can see that the key property here is the lookup ID. So this is the item ID of the item inside of the, um, the lookup list. Now I happen to know that I've just added these four items. So this is item ID 1, item ID 2, item ID 3, and item ID 4. So from that information, we can kind of guess 
as to what we need to pass to SharePoint to be able to update these columns. Here we're going to pass an array of strings for the choice column. And then here we're going to pass an array of SP lookup values for the lookup column. And those objects need to have the lookup ID set correctly. So I come back over to our Seesaw example here, stop debugging. And then um, instead of watching you or watching me type this all this out, I'm just going to cut and paste this code in, then we'll examine it. Go up here. There we go. And let me go to full screen. Okay, so we're going to call set item on the choice column. Again, it's just an array of strings. So I'm going to choose choice two and choice four. Those are the text values from the options in the select. And then for the lookup field, I'm going to create an array of lookup field value objects. And I'm going to set the lookup IDs on these objects. So I'm going to pick the second item and the fourth item. I'm going to put that into an array. And then for the lookup column, I'm going to pass that array in as the value in set item. And that should set the lookup column values. So let's get out of full screen. Let's hit F5 here to run. Do the get. We have our five items. Do the add. We have our new item. And now if we come over to the lookup list and refresh, and refresh the data list, not the lookup list, there we can see our item from CSOM with choice two and choice four selected, and also lookup two and lookup four selected. Okay, so in CSOM, really the only trick is just knowing that, um, you know, passing in the array is, is pretty intuitive, but for the lookup field, passing in the, the array of lookup field value or field lookup value. Uh, may not have been intuitive. All right, now let's go take a look at our REST example. Um, so I'll hit F5 here and come over to Fiddler and just clear out um, any results we currently have in there. And then do our GET. Come back to Fiddler and examine the JSON result. Okay, so for our choice column, we have an object whose metadata property is set to collect type equals collection of string. And then there's a result property, and that is the array of strings. Um, and then if we come down farther here, we should see our lookup. So notice it's lookup column ID, not lookup column. When you're working with lookups, um, it's always the column name plus ID and then generally just the ID value. But because this is a multi-select lookup, we have this metadata object, which is a collection of int32, and then we have our array of results. So the format of the information we need to pass to SharePoint for a lookup multi-select lookup column is very similar to the format of the information we need to pass for a multi-select choice column. All right, so let's come back over to our project here. Let's stop debugging, and let's come into here. Now, what I see people try to do quite regularly is just pass the array. So they'd say here, um, choice, whoops, let me type that in correctly. Choice column is an array, and we'll just put here um, choice one, and then um, say choice four. Okay, um, and then let's go ahead and run this. And then we'll do our get, and then we'll do the add. And here we get an error. A node of type start array was, was read, um, but it's expecting a start object or a primitive value. Okay, so when we see that, that tells us it's really looking for an object, not an array, um, while it's parsing out this text, really. Um, so what we want to do is just basically mimic the format. And with REST API, like 90% of the time, if you mimic what you're given in a get when you're doing an, a post, you're probably going to be right. So we just need to mimic this format in the results of, or the, in the information we're sending back up to SharePoint when we do the post. 
So coming back over to here, I'll now put in the code to update not only the choice column, but the lookup column as well. And you'll see it's basically the same format. So we create the object. It's meta underscore underscore metadata is type collection of EDM string for the choice field. And then the results is the array. And then for the lookup column, it's lookup column ID, not lookup column. Right? So it's the name of the field plus ID. And then again, underscore underscore metadata. This time the collection is of in32, not string. And then this, these are the item IDs of the values of the lookup field we're going to select. Or sorry, the items within the lookup list we want to select. So again, we're doing two and four here and two and four here. So let's get out of full screen. Hit F5 one more time. Do our get, do the add, do the get again. There we see the item from the REST API. Come back over to our list and refresh, and we can see our fields are properly set. So those are examples of how to update a multi-select choice and multi-select lookup field from either the JavaScript REST API or the JavaScript client object model.